Hey everyone, this is Kim from Three Olives Branch, and today we are making this blackberry bourbon sidecar. So this is a fun cocktail that I found at the Capitol Grill, and I thought we would do a little copycat recreation of this here at home. The traditional sidecar is typically made with brandy, contrao, and lemon, but we are going to shake it up a little bit and also add some extra ingredients. So let's talk about what you need in order to make this drink. Of course, you're going to need the bourbon itself, you are also going to need Contrao, which is an orange liqueur. If you don't have that, you could also use Triple Sec. The primary difference is that Triple Sec is actually just not as strong as Contrao, so either one is fine. We'll need some fresh squeezed lemon juice, some blackberries, and some fresh thyme. So let's go ahead and jump into this to see how it's made and get started. Okay, so we have all of our ingredients here ready to go. And first up, we wanna get the blackberries smashed or muddled. So we're gonna take a few of the berries here and just put them in the bottom of your tumbler or shaker, or you can use a tall glass. And then we're gonna use a muddler. And if you don't have a muddler, you can use a heavy spoon or anything else that has a flat base. And we're just going to press here to break up the berries, release all of their juice, and make sure that they're really mashed up so that all of that flavor gets into the drink itself. And then we're also going to add a little bit of thyme. It's just about a um, stick or so of the thyme. And then we're gonna put all of the rest of our ingredients here in this cocktail shaker. So we have the bourbon itself, and then we're also going to add some Contrao, or you could also use Triple Sec if you want. Uh, the difference is Triple Sec is actually not as strong, um, so that's the only difference really, otherwise they're both orange liqueurs. And then also we have our fresh lime, lemon juice here. All right, and then we get some ice into our shaker. We're just gonna pop the lid on here and you're gonna shake this until it's really, really cold. So at least 30 seconds, uh, but ultimately you want this shaker to feel so cold that your hand almost feels like it's starting to get that freezer burn type effect. And it'll almost look like it's frosting up on the outside. So once you're done here with this shaking, we're going to get ready to strain. You can see some of the berries here already popping out, which is wonderful. So we have our glass filled with more ice and we're just going to strain our cocktail here into the drink glass. And you'll have a few pieces of the blackberry coming out, which is beautiful. I like that, so um, you can do a finer strain mesh if you'd like so they don't come out. And then we're just gonna garnish this off. Uh, so I'd like to take some additional thyme sprigs here, just one or two based on what you think looks pretty and also how large they are. And we're just going to stick these in the glass uh, these actually also, when you bend in to sip from here, give you a really great earthy or herbal hint as well. And then we're gonna take a cocktail pick. You can also use a toothpick and stab a few of these blackberries here and just put it right on top. That's how they serve it up at the restaurant and that's it. I mean, you can see it's really, really simple and easy. Since we don't have anything that is sparkling, there's no need to be worried about making this in advance. You could definitely make a big old pitcher of this or have um, an entire batch ready to go for any type of party. So there you have it. That's all you need in order to make this blackberry bourbon sidecar, just like the restaurant. Um, make sure you go down below to find the detailed instructions as well as the ingredients for how to do this on your own at home. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more recipes in the future. Thanks for joining along.